Imagine your body is like a city and jeans are the blueprint for every building, but just having the blueprint isn't enough. You need a system to decide when and where each building gets built and how they're maintained. That's where gene regulatory networks come in. Hi, my name is Juliana Howe and I am in Tatiana Saka Spangler's lab and welcome to BioBasics. Gene regulatory networks are like control systems that tell your genes when to turn on and off and by how much. These networks are made up of proteins, small RNA molecules, and other factors that together work to coordinate the activity of genes. So why is this important? Well, because genes don't work in isolation. They need to respond to changes in the environment, like changes in temperature or exposure to toxins. They also need to work together to form tissues and organs in early development, and then repair the body as we age. If these networks get disrupted, it can lead to diseases like cancer, diabetes, and genetic disorders. By studying these networks, we can understand how diseases develop and potentially find new ways to treat them. It's like understanding a city's power grid. If we know how it works, we can fix it when something goes wrong.